Marines? again, he becomes a congressman for seven terms. And why he's a congressman, he gets together with a senator named Dempsey, who, by the way, at the age of 50, went through boot camp, at the age of 50, for, for the war. So they get together, and they create the Dempsey-Mansfield Act to stop the Hillary Truman and other people from closing down the Marine Corps. The, the, the Dempsey-Mansfield Act says they're guaranteed of three divisions, three air wings, and the Commandant, four star, on the, on the Joint Chiefs. Well, they created that. And then later on, Mike, Mike Mansfield, runs for the Senate. He's elected to the Senate from Montana and serves for 24 years. A long serious thing. Set up a lot of, a lot of famous litigation, or famous um, legislation. And then Mike 
retires in the Senate, and several presidents, Senator Japan, had the longest running ambassador uh, period ever. He served 12 years. He built a statue for him in Japan. So finally, at the age of 86, Mike comes home. Mike Mansfield comes home, wants to retire. They keep sending him another mission. He's one of the most valuable American uh, political guys in, in Congress. So Mike comes home at 86, does some more work, and finally, at age 98, Mike dies. Now, what do you think Mike's doing? Congress and the Senate wanted to put him on this VIP hill at Arlington. They already built a monument for him at the University of Montana and wanted him buried there. Well, Mike didn't have anything to do with that. Mike is buried in, I don't think I've been there twice. He's hard to tell this story. He's buried in Section 2, um, no, 4969 Park Street. And on that white plaque, you know what it says? And every guy with the Army, Navy, and every major honor America can have. By the way, every day in his life, the ambassador of Congressman, he wore a high class. And you know what he had in that high class? He was a little bit of a He went there every day. So he's not buried there. And the white plaque, it says simply, Michael Joseph Mansfield, private, U.S. Marines. That's what he's most proud of, and that's the legacy you gentlemen are about to inherit today. So that's your rest of your life. Can I get that expression, what's a Marine? Oh, it's a Marine! Damn right. That expression is 100 years old this, this, this year. In 1923, a gentleman created the Marine Corps League, and he put that on his letterhead, what's a Marine? Always oh, a Marine. His name is John Archer Lejeune. And, uh, okay, now another. Short story. I was um when I went to boot camp after graduation 60 years ago. Uh, they shipped us off early morning to what they call ITR, but now I think it's School of Infantry. And we got there, and the second day when we were out of one of the ranges, a uh, gunnery sergeant off to the side looked at me and said, "You look at me and said, Marine, pick up those ammo cans." And I looked at him. I stood. It's the first time anyone has ever used the word Marine. I was in court. All of a sudden I realized I was part of the most sharply disciplined and aggressive fighting force in the world. Now, on one last short story, I was, well, about 10 years ago, I was coming back from visiting with the Nurn family in Louisiana. I got stuck on New Year's, on Christmas Eve at the Fort Dallas Airport. And there's a food court, there's a, one lonely guy sitting there in this army, sort of, whatever they wear off the public, it's like a work clothes, you know, cash is all over it. He needed a little pizza. He said, well, it's like, you're a big savage young man. Tell me his life story. He said, he's on his way back to Tennessee to marry his girlfriend. To pick up a new pickup truck. Why? Because when he joined the Army, he gave him $40,000. $40,000. I said, I said to uh, Nick, I said, Nick, did you ever consider joining any other branch? He looked at me and said, yes, sir. I want to be a Marine. I said, you don't do it so bad. Army's a good outfit. What else can I say? He said, no, I wanted to be a Marine. I said, well, I think you got a good offer. And then uh, I said, why do you say that? He said, then the rest of my life, the rest of my life, I'll be a Marine. As long as I live, I'll be a Marine. Well, I went back to Arizona where I was working at the time. I was at a, some kind of reception with the people, Navy wives. And I was telling the story about young know, Nick, you know, Nick, Nick, Nick. And I said, one of the Navy wives said, that's not a good deal. The rest of his life, he could tell me he was a soldier. <laughs> and I smiled and I looked at her and I said, I think you just made my point. The, uh, well, what you guys, uh, at the risk of uh, a little bit of ego hubris, I've had a lot of titles in my life. I was chairman, CEO, president of uh, six different corporations. I was governor of a sports association. I've had a lot of titles. I want you to know the title of this day, and as I get older, more and wiser, the title I most treasure is. Anyway, I also spent some time as a journalist. I went on uh, three occasions to Afghanistan, Iraq, Djibouti, wrote about 200 stories about our Marines in action. I have to tell you, I think our Marines today are the best ever. 
When I see it in action, I wonder if I ever wore the same fabric, the same clothes, you know? I believe they're doing a really good job. Wherever I was writing the stories, I was really proud of them. I served there with um, a couple of really outstanding dreams, a couple of very active and Sergeant Major, the most intimidating rank of the board, Sergeant Major Royce Coffey. Sergeant Major Coffey was the one that started the martial arts program. He gave me the opportunity to be one of his students. I'm not sure he wanted to go back. But anyway, I also served for a short time in the program with the guy named Sergeant Butson, a Corporal Redman. And I, never, I don't remember most of my high school and college teachers, but I remember senior EI. Staff Sergeant Christensen, Sergeant Riley, Corporal Maddox, and Corporal Bobo, my DIs from June 282, 60 years ago. I'd love to tell you about all those Marines when I was overseas, but the Marines I'm looking at right now. All the faces seem younger than me. The gentlemen, you need those faces, the ones here and the ones I was with in the combat, these faces run the same blood, the same blood that was shed at Iwo Jima, Power. Broad Canal, Illusion, and Triple. It is sure. It's the same outfit. That's right. It's the same outfit. The United States Marine Corps. Semper Fidelis, Marines. Semper gentlemen. Oh, I forgot to tell you, whenever I do a talk with the Marines, especially a birthday ball talk, I have a tradition. I sing my favorite song. All three verses. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir! On me. Oh, wow. 